world and the beginning. Mm -hmm. He know that he made male and female. Mm -hmm. He know that when he made the saints, mm -hmm. the word of God. Mm -hmm. They said that they were naked and they were not ashamed. Mm -hmm. There was no sin on the scene. Mm -hmm. But look at it now, saints. Mm -hmm. You got to continue to mortify this flesh. Mm -hmm. You got to continue to purge it. Mm -hmm. You got to continue to kill it out. Mm -hmm. You know what's down in the heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that our is down in the heart. I, you right. know that fornication is down in the heart. Mm -hmm. I, you know that Jesus, he searched the heart. Yeah. I, he tried to reign the heart. To yeah. give to every man according to the works. I, but according to the fruit of his own. He know that that sickness is in the heart. I, mm -hmm. He know that lust is down there. I, he know that wickedness is down in the heart of saints. Yeah. He know that fornication is in the heart. I, yeah. He know that the secrets. I see no dead purpose that's down in our heart. I yes. see the see is saints. I so what are we gonna do about that? We mm. got to continue to purge this flesh. Yes. yes. It Man, is the thing we got saved. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to tell you how you need to adorn this Yes, mm -hmm. Because see, people still looking in the mirror. They still looking in the see how they still got. <laughs> Had they got what they had back there when it was 22, when it was 17, when it was 18, right. had you still got it going on, you mm -hmm. worrying about your outward appearance. You mm -hmm. worrying about how good you look. Ain't nothing wrong with <laughs> dressing modest. I, ain't nothing wrong with dressing up yourself and trying to look good for the Lord. I, right. Ain't nothing wrong with trying to look good for your husband. Right. But do you have the fruits down on the inside? I, All right. Are you adding anything? If you want to adorn yourself, mm -hmm. I, what do the word say? I, it said add to your faith virtue, I, and add to the time, add knowledge, I, add patience, I, add brother kindness, yeah. I, add charity. I, if these things be in you, they will make you that you will never be buried nor unfruitful in the knowledge of God. All right. Yes, Amen. You better make your calling and election sure. Yes, sir. Amen. You got to do it, and you got to crucify this flesh so that God can mold you and fix you, and that you will be that God deal in the sight of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's what it's saying, saying. You're going to see it in the word. If any obey not the word, they also may without the word be warned by the conversation of the wise. Mm -hmm. It's talking about the behavior of the wise. Mm -hmm. Do you have that humbleness? Do you have that meek spirit? It's talking about the fruits of the spirit. Are you walking out of the fruits of the spirit? Do you have that love, that joy, and that long suffering? Do you have the love of God? Are you doing anything about it down in the heart? Look at what Jesus said to the Pharisees and to the scribes. Do you make that cleanness on the outside? So on the inside, inside. you are right. a dead man born. Yes. My God, my he God. He looked at that son. Yes. Mm -hmm. He is the God that see and watch. That's what he would tell me. He the God that see and the God that watch. He see everything. Amen. Amen. He see everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. While they behold your chest conversation, come with fear. It's talking about that good example that the women need to have. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. He talking to the women for it. That's the example that they need to have. Mm -hmm. It don't need to be nothing that it gonna be in the amazement that gonna draw people the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You are the light of the world. Amen. A city that set on a hill can't be healed. All right. You got to come out of the house sometime. Amen. So you might well come out with the beauty of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Come out with the fruits of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Come out with that robe of righteousness. Who's adorning it? Let it let it not be that outward adorning of the plating of the hair and of the wearing of gold or putting on of a power. Mm -hmm. Now let me say this. We know that the clothes ain't gonna take you down. That's not what I'm preaching. Amen. But what I am saying that he put a precautionary measure that you need to have the fruits on the inside. Mm -hmm. Because if you ain't got the fruits on the inside, you might end up getting corrupted. That's, right. That's it. it. And it's not here in the word. It's not here before. Who adorn it? Let it not be the apple adorn or plating of the hair and a wearing of gold or a putting on of apparel. 
but let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible. It's talking about the spirit of God. Yes. It's talking about the fruits of his labor. It's talking about the glory of his coat. It's talking about the word of God. Mm -hmm. It's talking about that wisdom that he gave us. Mm -hmm. A wise man will heal. Yes. And he will receive instructions. Amen. And he will attain to wise counsels. So look at a fool. You can't tell a fool nothing. He don't, if you want the word of God to say to receive the wisdom of God. Get wisdom. Get knowledge. And in all that getting, get an understanding of the word of God. Let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corrupt. This is talking about the spirit of God. The fruits of the spirit. That is what he wants us to have when he looks at us. He's looking for the fruits of the spirit. He's looking for that meekness. He's looking for that He's looking for the love of God. He's looking for charity. Uh, it said that charity suffer long. Uh, Amen. It vaunted not itself. Uh, it don't behave itself unseemly. Uh, this is what you got to have if you want to walk with the Lord. Uh, you got to have his weight. Uh, you got to have his manners. Uh, you got to have the word that is speaking. But let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Mm -hmm. That's something that you got to get when you first come to the Lord. Mm -hmm. If any man will come after me, let him first deny himself, pick up his cross and follow me. Amen. It's talking about that meekness. Mm -hmm. You got to kill the flesh. You got to deny your way, what you used to be before you got saved. Amen. 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 And Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Yes. All things are passed away. The Behold, all things are become new. Yes. Amen. You got to humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and let Him lift you. Amen. You got to put away the old way. Yes, you got to make sure that you got the good ones on the inside. Amen. A meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God a great prayer. That's what He's looking for. Yes, Lord. For after this manner in the old times, the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own books. Yes, Lord. That's how they were in the old days. Yes, Lord. They put on righteousness. They put on holiness. They put on sanctification. They asked for the old path. Yes, Lord. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughter you are, as long as you do well and are not afraid within a man. Yes. And that's what's going on now. <laughs> Folks are looking at you, saints. They are looking at us. They don't care what you say. They still looking at your behavior. Amen. They still looking at the way that you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. They still looking to see that you got that old conversation that you had before you got saved. Mm -hmm. They look at you up and down with elevator eyes. They looking at you the way that Jesus told his disciples. The any man look at a woman to lust after her in his heart. He said that he had already committed the act on the inside. They looking at you with them lustful ways. And you got to carry yourself in a manner that they did back in the old days. You got to do what Sarah did. She called Abraham Lord. That's how you got to look at your husband. You got to uplift him. You got to keep him up high. You can't be fussing and all and all the time. You got to crucify this flesh. You got to crucify their affections. You got to crucify the lust that's down in the heart. Ooh, my God. Yes, sir. That's what you got to do, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, who thought of thee are as long as you do well. Well done. Yes, Lord. Likewise, ye husband, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. Now he's talking about that one accord. He talking about the way that Adam was in the beginning before sin came on the scene. Now, when he first looked at his wife, mm -hmm. do you remember what the word says, saints? It said that when he created Eve and when he created Adam, it 
Worship for this winger, a man shall leave his mother and father and cling unto his wife. But look what Adam said. He said she shall be bones of my bones. All right. She shall be flesh of my flesh. She was in love with a saint. She looked at his wife and he was not ashamed. She looked at him and she was not ashamed. And he had came on the scene. They were in love with one another. This is what God planned from the beginning of mankind. Say the word. He talked about that one. He talked about one of cold when it comes to the husband and to the wife. He got to look at them and be in the weak of God. We got to love them and cherish them. We got to make sure that we are ravaged with our own wife. Amen. Likewise, you call them, dwell with them according to knowledge. This is something that Adam did. He knew something that we didn't know. Mm -hmm. She is bones of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. He was looking at her saying, this is my honey do. Amen. Amen. That's how he was looking at her. Because mm -hmm. sin won't own the scene and they were not ashamed. Amen. Amen. According to now, giving honor unto the white as unto the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life. Look at that one accord. Mm -hmm. That's what God wants. He wants to see oneness in the household. Amen. When it comes to the husband and to the wife, he wants to see oneness. Mm -hmm. He wants to see his spirit. He don't want to see no outward of them. He wants to see the spirit. Spirit of God. He yeah. wants to see the meekness and the temperance. Mm -hmm. He wants to see what he gave us when he gave us the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. There is that love. Mm -hmm. That charity. Mm -hmm. Go all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. What he said in the word. Mm -hmm. God is not slack concerning his promise as some being count slack. All right. But he longs something to uphold. Mm -hmm. Not with him that ends your perish. Mm -hmm. That is the way God he going all the way. That's how we got to look at our wives. We got to go all the way all with the us. Saints. What God joined together, let not man put us some. Right. We got to go to the end of the grave with us. He made your voice. Now he made you put in the way of the flesh. He made it, saints. Yes, no preacher. He meant for them to be together to the end. Amen. Likewise, he home dwell with them according to knowledge. We know what the word says. Mm -hmm. We supposed to be with them to them do us part. And Amen. We look at them as the weaker vessel and cherish them. The Bible said, "No man hated his own self." Mm -hmm. And that's how we supposed to look at the wife. Amen. I'm just telling you what the word says. Say. That is the spiritual adornment that Jesus is looking for. Amen. He wanted to make sure we got this thing right in the heart. Amen. Oh, he's looking, he's watching, he's seeing, he know what, what started, he know who was wrong, he know who started in the beginning, he know who won't end it, he know how it's going to end in the beginning. Amen. That's why he's beginning and the end. Amen. He already know how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. But what are we going to do? Being heirs together of the grace of life. Right to the end. We want to see Jesus and people. But we got to do this thing just how Jesus said do. Let your prayers be not him. And your prayers will be him. If we ain't on one accord, we got to repent and get it right. Amen. That's right. When you be praying, your prayer won't be going nowhere. Amen. You be trying to read the word and, and, and it seems like you just can't get a revelation from the Lord. She just as soon as you run in there and say, look, I'm sorry for you. Mm -hmm. Everything get right back peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The portal, the portal open right back up. Then you can get something, Lord. Finally, be ye all of one mind, have compassion, one of another. Love as brothers, be pitiful, be courteous. That's the mercy of God. Amen. If we want to receive mercy, we got to be merciful. That's what Jesus wants. Not running evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrary while blessing, knowing that ye are there unto call that ye should inherit a blessing. Yes, we want to see Jesus in peace. We want him to do it his way. It's going to be his way or no way. All right. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. He, he, his 
driving to and fro. He look, he know what's in the heart. He don't need nobody to testify of man. He already know what's in man. Mm -hmm. One thing about Jesus, saying, when he begin to judge the earth, he don't need nobody to come on the scene and say he did this and he did that. It ain't going to be like no natural courtroom. He don't need witnesses. He don't need nobody to stand up for this person. He don't need nobody to stand up for that person. He already know who was in fault. He already know who's going up in his kingdom. He know who's going to be on the right side. He know who's going to be on the left side. He know who he's going to cast out. And he know who he's going to receive into his father's kingdom. Amen. He already know. He already know. Mm -hmm. He don't need nobody to testify on me because he know what's in me. Amen. He don't need nobody to get on jury duty and, and, and tell him that look, this person did that. He don't need to hear none of that because he already know he is the first and the last. Mm -hmm. yeah. For he that would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. <laughs> That's how we need to be adorned. We need to make sure that we got this tongue on us Ooh, Yes, sir. It's still talking about that spiritual mm -hmm. You need to make sure that your speech is sound. The tongue is a fire in a world of existence. Amen. It set the whole world on fire. And it is set on fire of hell. That's what the word says. For he that would love life, like, let him see good days. Let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no God. Let him ensure evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. We need to despise sin. Amen. We need to put sin under our feet. Amen. Amen. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. He looks at sin. And his ears are open unto their prayer, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if you be followed of that which is good? Amen. Amen. If you follow him, say, that's what we want. That's right. But if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of that terror, neither be troubled. Mm -hmm. We ain't got nothing to worry about if we ain't lying with the Spirit of God. Amen. But if we ain't in line with the Spirit of God, His, his faith is against them that do evil. Amen. We can't say, Lord, 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 this because He gonna hide His eyes from He don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. My God. But if He suffer right and say, Have God did, be not afraid of their terror, neither be ye troubled. Now look at what the word said. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts mm -hmm. and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. You got to work on the heart. Amen. You got to keep the heart clean. Amen. The heart got to be clean. Yes. 